Don't fail me again, Admiral. Okay, part two of this bullshit thing. I'm just down at the wholesale club in Lindsay here. I got my friggin' stupid uh, mask on my head like a Jew in a fucking CEO. Bar Mitzvah. Look at that. Jew Steve. Ah, Ten Commandments. Call me Moses. You take too much upon yourself. There is no freedom without the law. There you go. Wholesale. Everybody's got their masks on. I got mine on my head. What was that movie? It's, uh, weird Science when Buddy wears the ladies' underwear on his fucking head. By the way, why are we wearing bras on our heads? Ceremonial. I just talk about feeling like a dork. And the government still hasn't released all the names of all the dead in the information yet. There we go, clean the hand up a little bit. Got my masks. I'm half wearing it. There you go. There you go. Yeah, I'm trying there. There we go. We got our masks on. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. I guess this is a law, eh? Gotta wear a mask. Is it a law? Or is it just policy? It's mandatory. Under what law is uh, the mask being used or being forced to? You know the law at all or just wondering? Because there is no law because the Emergency Act wasn't passed, eh? I'm a community watchdog. Are you, are you filming us? Can huh? you put that away? Yeah, uh, yeah, that's not on. It's not on. Uh, yeah. yeah. I'm just asking, that's all. You don't have permission. I don't need permission. This is Canada. <laughs> Here you go. I need permission to have my camera on. Yeah, fuck off. Yeah. I just want to film my experience here. I'm not going to get bullied. There you go. So, I got some meat. Got to wear a mask like Darth Vader to get some friggin' meat. No one can quote the law. You notice that? They're just told by some asshole in the suit that this is the law. And no one can quote the law. Not the government, not the people that work here. You see how this is bullshit, folks. Now you know why I'm so mad. Okay. I need potatoes. There you go. I'm just finished my shopping Darth Vader experience. There you go, another guy coming in. How you doing today, sir? Thank you. Have a good shop in there. Thank you. Feel like an Imperial Stormtrooper. Yeah. yeah. So, once again, these guys here, Wholesale Club, they need to, you know, instruct their people what law they're following. But that's what I'm trying to tell people, is that, let me get this stupid damn mask off. Until there's a law, people can't tell you what to friggin' do. It's that simple. And Trudeau has the power to pass the emergency bill. That's why I'm being such a dickhead about this. If I was Prime Minister, I would have passed the emergency bill, it would have been law, and there wouldn't be any problems right now. But what I get mad about is that Trudeau was quite clear he wasn't going to pass it, didn't pass it, and then the politicians and the mainstream media and all these corporate asshole douchebags all just pretend that there's a law. And this COVID-19 crap that even came out, they're chalking up deaths of people who died that weren't even, that didn't even die of COVID-19. That's all been coming out now too. So, I really do believe this is a, a weapon of some sort, a flu weapon, that's not completely uh, deadly, unless you're like an elderly person. But you can see how they want to control. This is all about control. Remember those days when you watched Oprah? Oh, my husband, it's this, these chauvinist men, it's all about control, it's all about control. I remember that. That's what this reminds me of. And that's true, it's all about control. And it's up to people like you and me to say, no, we're free people. Don't tell us what to fucking do. If you do, have it passed in the legislature, because this is Canada, and you gotta do it there before you start telling people what to do. Just can't go and say it's it's policy, it's company policy, and uh, start threatening and saying, you don't, you don't, I didn't give you permission to film me. Hey, you little whores in that building, 
I don't need your fucking permission to film your fucking ass. I can film your fucking ass anytime I want. Especially when you're in a public building. Like, only time I can't film you is when you're in the fucking can taking a shit. But I don't know these people that think they can tell people to put their camera away. You're in public, you can get filmed. It's that simple. And that's the bullshit we gotta get out of people's fucking heads. In this country, you can film anywhere in public, in a store, anywhere. Yeah. I didn't give you permission. I don't need your fucking permission. You can pull your fucking camera out and film my beautiful face. Hmm? Like I care. But you can see the bullshit. And everybody thinks they're a fucking general in a fucking army now that works in these cashier places. You know, after being a pilot for 12 years, you know, to sit there and take crap from a bunch of old fucking cunts inside this fucking store here and telling me to put my camera away, put my mask on. Who in the fuck do you think you are, you stinking old cunts? And that's the cunts that work at wholesale there. And I filmed them earlier. And they are. They're dirty fucking cunt horse. Couldn't get a real job. I'm a professional pilot. Boy, I'm way fucking better than all you shitheads in there. Yeah. Now you know why I got balls, eh? Now you know why I got balls. I'm a pilot. Yeah, top gun. Yeah, men like me saved the Battle of Britain when everybody else ran. Now you know why men like me are putting up the fight here. So a wholesale club, bunch of fucking Nazis in there. Anyways, I'm Sea Cat Securish, your Norland Kobaconk watchdog. And once again, they couldn't quote the law because they're a bunch of fucking dumb cunts. And they think that they can tell you what to do. Well, check this out on YouTube. Have a nice day. And so long, everybody. Stay tuned for my next video. And uh, fuck this goddamn thing.